Diana Denmark here and rah 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 it is Monday morning I love Monday mornings it always feels like a, a fresh start um, two things I'm checking with you today hold on let me put my palm down this down Whoop, over there um, this week we're moving into new uh, fly lady zone which as you can see me is the living room, the den, family room, whatever you want to call it. We've got a full uh, week in here. Um, I'm going to be doing my weekly home blessing hour as soon as I've finished making this video. If you want me to clean along with you, um, I'll put a link up there. I've got a playlist where you can see me doing my regular weekly home blessing hour. For me, it takes 40 minutes because I do some of the tasks on different days. But anyway, it's all explained up there. Uh, or else you can go for the full, you know, the seven tasks, 10 minutes each, and I also have uh, that on the playlist. So if you want me to you know, vacuum along with you for 10 minutes and dust for 10 minutes and go through papers for 10 minutes, it's all on the playlist up there. Uh, I won't be filming that today because I've got other stuff uh, to film for you and, and tell you about. Um, and wh when you're in here this week, hold on, let me just put that over there, uh, make sure that you, you know, if you haven't done it already, uh, make a very simple control journal. If you've been with Fly Lady for a while, you will know that just doing the weekly home blessing hour and the morning and evening routines, that's all you really need to keep your house ticking over. But when we're in the zone, like this week is zone five, maybe you want to go a bit deeper into the zone and do a, a few more things. Um, and I've got the, I've printed off the detailed cleaning list for each of the zones. You, you've seen this all before, you've heard me saying it all before. So here we are for zone five, and the idea is not for you to check off everything that is on that list every time we're in the zone, but you know, just that we can think about these things so that you know, every couple of uh, months, I don't do it every month, I'll clean off the top of the uh, lamps here, you know, the big one that's up there, hold on. Uh, there we are, that one, yeah. Uh, and there's another one here. Um, uh, you know, you may have a, a fireplace uh, that needs cleaned out, um, but we're, we're not having to do all of these things every time in the zone. Just pick a few things and do them. Uh, and also you may might, might to think, um, you know, do you need to uh, get some more firewood or fire starters? Are you needing uh, candles for this room? You know, get them on your list. Uh, for errandy, so that when you're out running your errands, you, you, you know, you're kind of up to date. Um, and I've added a few extra things to do in this room. For example, my pamper basket, you know, I've got my pamper basket where I keep what I'm reading, um, and my cordless headphone, stuff like that. And uh, I, I, I put, I've written that down here just to remind me to go through that occasionally. So anyway, you've heard that all before. If, if you need me to clean with you in the zones, I've also got a zone list where I clean with you in Fly Lady Zone 3 or 5, so it's all there. Anyway, I'm, I'm not going to be showing you that today, but I am going to be doing my weekly home blessing hour, as I said, as soon as I've uh, finished filming this, because I need to warm up and end today. I, I was down for my skinny dip with Vibeka and Helena, uh, and it's really cold here this morning. Um, so if I'm looking a wee bit fluffy, it's because uh, it was raining uh, and a bit breezy and the temperature here this morning is around it's probably around three celsius um which is about 37 is it 37 f can that be right yeah uh, and the water temperature was four celsius four degrees celsius which is probably 39 anyway it was a, it was a wee bit cold so i'm looking forward to getting warmed up um the other thing I wanted to check in with you today is, our, our main event right now, is our 40-day um, habit challenge. Now, drum roll please. Ooh, here we go. <gasps> day 36. Can you believe that? Day 36 out of 40 days. We're, we're really, we're crushing it here. Uh, I posted it on Instagram a bit over the weekend. Um, I'm working on two things for my daily habit challenge. Some of you are working on meditation, uh, reading your scriptures, eating more vegetables, making sure that you walk the dog every day. I, I'm working on two things. I'm working on daily exercise and my daily exercise is either doing um, a 15 minute jog and I don't run far and I don't run fast, but uh, I quickly change into my uh, jogging clothes. I've, I've put 
the alarm, uh, you know, a timer, I set the timer on my smartphone for seven minutes. I get out of the house, whatever the weather, I mean, you've seen me posting on Instagram, it's been snowing, raining, hailstones, sunshine. Uh, I run for seven minutes and when the timer goes off, I run back home. So in my head, I'm only doing like seven minutes, but I've actually run for 14 minutes and then I do a few stretches and boom, my 15 minutes is up. Uh, so I either do that or I do the seven minute high intensity interval training app, which is just me loosening off my clothes, you know, taking off my uh, belt on my, on my trousers and doing exercises either here in the living room or in the bedroom. So that, that's what I'm doing. And for those of you who have asked, um, you know, whether I shower after my jog, uh, it, it depends on, on the day. I, I'm not running far or fast. Um, so usually I, I just change back into my clothes and if I'm feeling a wee bit stinky then, then quite often I'll um, just use the handheld shower uh, you know in the bathroom and I'm not washing my hair or anything uh, so all in all from time it, it's getting changed into my jogging clothes doing my jog having a quick uh, 30 second shower getting dried off and put my clothes back on again it's probably, I don't know, 25 minutes. So that, that's, uh, for me, that is totally worth it. Um, so I'm working on the habit challenge of exercise. And the other habit challenge that I'm working on and I've been leading through is a little declutter challenge. Just one item a day. Um, it can be small as a paper clip, a, a clip, it can be as big as a sofa. We're just looking for one item, uh, you know, because everybody can find one thing. Uh, and even if you're having a bad day, you know, you can find one thing uh, and often, <laughs> surprise, surprise, you're finding more or suddenly you can get, you know, let go of a, a whole lot of things. Uh, but then the next day we're back to the just one item to begin with. And I know a lot of you, this has really helped because it's taken the pressure off. It's not, oh, I have to find a whole bag of stuff or a whole box of stuff every day. Just one item can be, you know, um, an envelope, a paper clip. Uh, an elastic band, a whole, an old hair scrunchie that's past its best, you know. Uh, anyway, I'm, I'll just give you a wee roundup of what I found uh, over the weekend and my item for today, for day 36. Uh, we were at our Swedish summer house at the weekend and on Saturday uh, we got rid of a plastic uh, fish slice, you know, from the kitchen. So that went out and then yesterday, Sunday, uh, I found some socks which were uh, kind of holy, you know, for wearing to see the Pope, if you get the joke, holy socks. Um, and also um, uh, a sweater that I never use any longer. So th this, w this is all, you know, it's fresh uh, and, and clean. So that's going in my bag for the next clothes swap party. So that was my item from yesterday. The, the holy socks went out. Um, and or, or should, should I say golfing socks because there was a hole in one. Haha, <laughs> boom, boom. Uh, anyway, my item for today, I was going to look here in the living room, but you know, I, I've got hardly any clutter in this room. I mean, you've seen this room and um, you know, you've seen it all before. And I decided to take a look because uh, the books that you've seen here, um, these are all my uh, husband's books, and we've got bookcases over there and bookcases in the dining room. But I've got a few books that I've got in the basement, ones that belong to me from you know, when I was a child or my past. And it's, you know, this fly lady decluttering thing, it's an ongoing process. I wasn't able to release them, you know, when I first started decluttering. But now that I've been uh, with fly lady so long, just that very fact of going through the zones, it, it keeps things, you know, keeps you aware of stuff. And you, you saw, uh, was it two weeks ago uh, that I let go of my wedding shoes? I mean, why was I holding on to them? They didn't even fit me, so I couldn't kind of change the colour of them or anything like that. Uh, and and uh, I took them to the clothes swap party and somebody took them, so they were. Anyway, I'll show you what I've got today for my item. Oh, and I've got something else to tell you, yeah. Um, okay, here, here's an example. Right, <laughs> I don't know why, but... I'm finding it really difficult to let go of my shorthand books. Now, I, I studied shorthand. I was a stenographer, just like my idol from Thoroughly Modern Millie. I was a, a good stenog. Just like my mum, my granny was a stenographer, and my mum was a stenographer. I was a stenographer. 
And for some reason, I find it really difficult to let these go of these uh, shorthand books. I mean, the, I've had these since I was at college, you know. So, uh, and I'll just show you a, a wee look. So I'm not ready to let go of these yet. That's all right. Maybe I'll be ready to let go of them next time. It's just a kind of, I don't know, link, link to the past. Um, here and, and it's always so funny that the text that used to get in shorthand anyway i was very good at shorthand and, and i used shorthand in, in all my jobs uh, anyway so i'm not i'm not getting rid of the, the shorthand book yet but what one i am getting uh which i'm going to let go of today is uh, a book now okay any guesses which language this is okay i'll give you a, a wee minute okay let, let me show you inside Right, let's see if anybody's guessing yet. Yeah, anybody guessing? Now, I know that I have a couple of ladies that watch my videos who speak this language. Any guesses? Three, two, one. Okay, <clears throat> this is a book which is written in Luxembourgish, one of the official languages of Luxembourg. Now, I've, I've mentioned this before. I used to work in Luxembourg. I worked for the British judge at, at the European Court of Justice, um, which is in Luxembourg. And I lived in Luxembourg for 10 years, loved it there. That's where I met my husband. He was working for a Danish judge and I was working for the British judge. Uh, and all our friends were working for judges and some of our friends are back in Luxembourg as advocate generals or judges. Uh, and this is a book that is written in Luxembourgish. Now, I never, unfortunately, learned to speak or write Luxembourgish, but there you are. It, it's, um, if you look at it, you'll, you'll see that um, it has quite a lot in uh, common with uh, German because it has capital letters for nouns, uh, and you'll recognize some of you know, the umlauts. But it's, um, it, it's a really difficult language to learn uh, Luxembourg. But, I, you know, I've had this since I left Luxembourg uh, and I'm not going to be reading it. Uh, and so, so it's, time, it's time to let this one go. And you can also see the other editions here in Luxembourgish. Uh, that one is Jungle, Jungle Book, which is the Jungle Book. Um, Roger Rabbit is the second one there. Uh, the Lady and the Stromi is um, Lady and the Vagabond, or Lady and the Tramp, uh, and Dumbo and Bambi. Yeah. So anyway, so, so this book is going to be. So sometimes, you know, you, you have kind of links to the past, and that's all right if you're not quite ready to let go of it. You know, just take it, you know, uh, one step at a time. I'm ready to let go of this one, and but not this one right now. But you know, we're, we're getting there. Anyway, um, talking about getting there, uh, I probably won't be posting the next couple of days. I'm going to take a quick trip over to see my mum uh, in Scotland. Um, and I'll, I should be back at the end of the week. Um, and, and just to give you, <laughs> give you another laugh, uh, I'll, I'll be seeing, uh, I'll be seeing mum, and I'll also be seeing uh, my brother and his wife, uh, and my brothers, uh, and, and I've, I've got some presents from, from my brother's uh, grandchildren. And just to give you a laugh, because uh, and I bought these sweets in Sweden at the weekend. We were at our Swedish summer house. Okay, first of all, we've got a uh, beedler, uh, which, which are a very classic um, Swedish thing, and those are meant to look like little cars. But here, here's the fun one, and I, I know we're kind of juvenile and we shouldn't laugh about it, but <laughs> that was nice. Here we have some plop, and, and plop is um, chocolate uh, with kind of uh, caramel uh, inside. So who wants some plop chocolate? And the kids always think it's so fun, and I think it's fun. So I'm, I'm going to be packing those to, to take with me when I, when I go to uh, Edinburgh uh, tomorrow morning. So anyway, as I said, I, I may not be able to check in with you the next couple of days, but just keep going uh, with your decluttering or your exercise. Um, I've already thought of some things that I can declutter. <laughs> When, when I'm over at mum's, because I've, I've also got some old books uh, still at home in mum and dad's house. Uh, and I'm also, because we talked about this in another um, 
one of the days of the 40 day challenge, uh, any underwear that I have that's kind of past its best and is ready to go out, I keep that so when I'm traveling, you know, like visiting mum or, you know, if we're away for the week, I can wear it one last time and then put it in the, put it in the bin. So there we go, I'll be decluttering while I'm visiting mum in Edinburgh. So anyway, I'm going to keep it short there because I want to get going with my um, weekly home blessing hour. And remember, once you've finished your weekly home blessing hour, you know, um, cut yourself out a wee couple of uh, flowers from the garden and just, you know, make it nice for yourself. Anyway, um, that's all for me. I'll see you on Instagram uh, and I hope I haven't missed anything. Um, and, and, and if I have, I'll, I'll write it on Instagram. So anyway, live long and prosper. May the Danish hoogie be with you. Uh, and I shall see you on the other side. Okay, bye for now.